Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 7 of Skip to Loafers. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> My nose is on fire. I hate allergies. I want it to be over. <laughs> All right, this rest is the best thing. Mm. Really? He just offend and compliment her at the same time. Oh my god! That's the worst thing you do to somebody. Offend and compliment them at the same freaking time. Oh my god. And he, he probably didn't mean her thing like that, but like... <laughs>
Well, if we only knew. Oh, he's the everyday guy. Everyone likes him. Thanks, so much. I get that, but something like that doesn't always matter. I, I mean, I think everybody truly understands that, but... Would you rather have a leader who's tough or would you rather have a leader who's like a friend? But I'm not saying that to be like mean. It's just generally the popularity vote. If you're more popular in the end, you're the one who's going to get it. Okay, and I get that. But what, I mean, he's now new coming in on this. What if he doesn't know certain things? That is an issue, yes. No comment. Baby. I feel like it got colder in the room, even though I'm okay with being cold, but seriously, it's a little too cold now. This baby friendship has definitely gone up. <laughs> what a coincidence. <laughs> It's just a name. <laughs>
mean, it seems a little hilarious, but it, it's your baby. a story to talk about with this episode. <laughs> There you go. Encouragement. Likewise. And you worked hard. It's okay to treat yourself. Trust me. I do that. <laughs> we all treat ourselves. Girl, you eat tomatoes whole like they apples? Oh my god. <laughs> He's just a friend. <laughs> He just a golden retriever baby. <laughs> oh. Did you turn a girl down? So, what was that about? Of course she did. That, but she obviously has a crush on you. Right? I mean, that would be one of the most touristy things to do. That or a theme park. Remember, popular. Another one. You know, when all the girls want to confess to that one guy.
Hey. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Baby, you only relieve because you want to confess to him. It's so. <laughs> right even though in the beginning yes you did treat her bad but now you're good now <laughs> and then you know when you get older in your college the best thing that you could do with all is like well not always on special occasions on girls nights you can get drunk and do stupid ish. <laughs> Watch stupid shows just like a sleepover. And 50 out of 50 if you are too buzzed to get a ride home, then you stay the night. Usually that's always the best because you don't want anything bad to happen to anyone. Yeah. <laughs> I know you you just ain't realizing huh? seriously right like oh oh Oh. <laughs> no, baby. I don't think he looks at you as just a friend. I think he still honestly looks at you as more as a friend. It's just, you know, you guys are taking your time on it. That's why he's saying all no to those, uh, those other girls. Because he truly wants to be with you. Um. Older sister, older sister.
<laughs> Sue me, baby. Figure it out. Yes. Yes. <laughs> we got another girl coming in. Stepping in the territory, even though technically she's already been there. Oh, this is good. Oh, my God. Oh, damn it. This is, <laughs> this is somewhat of Oshiro no Koi, except, you know, no one ain't, you know, that word. We can't talk about that. Um, <laughs> but of course, definitely, I'm not surprised that we have someone who is somewhat in the same industry, but more in the modeling aspect, in the entertainment world, having a relationship with Shima, even though I think it's kind of potentially one-sided. She has a crush on him, but Shima, once again, with every other girl, he, he's like, um, I'm not into y'all. There's one girl that I'm into, and that's her. Sue me. That's it. My little adorable plain Jane wants to be a leader, baby best girl. That's all. Mm -mm. He don't want anybody else. We it's been since episode freaking one. He does not want anyone else. We know it. I know it. I'm about to point it, y'all. You know it. We all know it. The whole freaking world knows it. Oh my god. Like, but okay, yeah. She's mm, she seems a little bitchy ask. I'm not mad at that. I mean, cause like <sighs> <laughs> Every anime, mm, you know what, no, mm, no, not every anime, some animes, majority animes that I have seen, we always have that one character who is the bitchy ass character and that is her in a nutshell, but maybe she puts it on as a facade and such, maybe she's actually really truly nice, who knows, if the next episode really truly focuses on her, then yes, we get to know more about her. But we know that there is something between her and Shima. Not only, I'm guessing, number one, they've been friends for a long time where they both knew each other when they were kids in the entertainment industry. Him doing his child acting stuff and her possibly doing modeling as a kid, eventually turning into an, a, a teenager and doing even more modeling and such and being on magazine coverage and everything. But we know eventually Shima ended up falling out with his love of acting and such and so that's why he's barely in it now also due to with his mom and stuff so he still has what i like to say connections to the entertainment industry he could go back anytime if he really wanted but if you also look at entertainment going into the entertainment in a in, ugh, what's the word entertainment industry in a nutshell plus also Oshino no Koi and how that is getting very similar um about the entertainment industry, whether it's American or Japanese or any other type in a nutshell, usually if you do leave something and you come back, it is a little harder to try to get your name still out there. Even though people still know you, it's because, number one, you possibly haven't done anything since how many of years ago that you did that child acting star role. Whether you've been in like so many different movies, hence TV shows or whatever, and then you say, oh, okay, I'm gonna take a leave of absence. Look at all these actors. I can't say for Japanese, but I can really say a lot for American. Um, majority of these American actors who after their quote unquote big break, whether that is a movie or a TV show, they can't really, 50 out of 50, some of them can still find greater success after the hit movie or TV show. And then there are others, in my opinion, that still aren't able to get that same thing that they got from this TV show. To <laughs> I can't speak. This TV show series, this movie series, whatever, um, in that same fandom and such. And they have to work either three, four, five, ten times harder just to try to find their next big break. So, you know, yeah, once again, entertainment series, ent I keep saying series, entertainment industry is very cutthroat and stuff, just like YouTube and everything else. And if you don't really have the stomach for it and such, and if you don't like criticism, I really wouldn't suggest it to you. But, okay, let me go ahead and talk about my, my little story. Okay, so, you know... <laughs> When his dad came into the camera and started saying stuff and calling him and everything. So, if you've known, in the years that I have done my, done or been in my YouTube career, 
Um, my lovely mother since day freaking one in 2017. When I started going from talking about Kingdom Hearts to just doing anime reactions in a nutshell and such. And then, you know, striving in to do other things. My number one fan, aka my mother, will always make herself known. I remember one time, I think I was doing like my first or second official random live stream. And my aunt and my mom were in the living room of our house. And so I'm talking to you guys, you know, my old subs at the time and such. And my uncle asked a question like, oh, hey, who is DJ talking to? She's like, oh, she's talking to her subs, um, her subscribers on YouTube. So she was like, yeah. So if she talks right here, we can already, even though we're hearing her now, you'll hear her a second. But she's like, okay, watch this. So she runs to my room and she falls and you hear her fall in like in real time at that moment in, in the freaking stream. And I was like, oh my God, are you okay? I was like, what the heck happened <laughs> and such. Um, but then any other videos that I even do now, she will also make herself known. So if my door is open, same thing with my dog, um, and even my two previous dogs, Yanni and Kiana, everybody would always make themselves known that they were in a video. I remember one time I had Yana like sitting in my lap and I was just talking about like a countdown and I said at number five and she looks up at me like, oh my God, what's that? Like, what are you talking about? Um, or the time when I was watching the Monogatari series and I literally was talking about Shinobu and how Shinobu um, loves the crap out of donuts. Like, that is her thing. That is her niche. Like, yeah, this is a cute, adorable Chibi vampire, but she also loves freaking donuts. And then my mom comes in thinking I'm talking about Death Note and such. And so that day, she officially, in her eyes, made a headcanon that Elle didn't die from the Death Note. Elle died from a heart a stroke with a heart attack due to diabetes and such. And so now... She got it to the point that one of my subscribers thinks that that is now their headcanon. They're like, that is my headcanon. Your mom is so right. And I'm over here like, what? Are you are you serious? So even now, like any anything that I will record, you never know when my mother is going to make an appearance and make herself known. She will literally come in here, look to see what I'm watching and such. So she'll be like, oh, that, what's that about? Da -da -da -da. And I was like, I'll tell her what it is. And, she, and then she'll make her little snide comment. Oh, it's not Death Note. Be like, mommy, not everything can be Death Note because it, you know what? It's like, and I'll, I'll tell you why. Because literally, when I started getting her into anime, the first thing I showed her was Death Note. Now, if I had a showed her like Attack on Titan or Full Full Metal Alchemist, which I think two series that she will really personally probably not be into, even though I showed her like a little bit of AOT. Um. She couldn't really vibe with it as much. She felt like the the pacing was a little too slow, um, in her opinion. Uh, so don't come for her. <laughs> and I was like, it's okay. That's fine. I was like, maybe another day. Heck, I even tried to have her watch um, Madoka Magica. And she couldn't get into that. And I was just like, ma'am. I was like, because you like Death Note so much. And because you made that your number one, even though you've seen Sailor Moon and Pokemon and everything... You literally look at anything else and you're like, nope, it's not Death Note. And so I have to give her side eyes all the freaking time. Be like, But she liked Demon Slayer. She liked Demon Slayer really a lot. Even though we didn't finish Demon Slayer for her because I was too busy <laughs> trying to rewatch Demon Slayer myself before I watched the movie. <laughs> when that situation happened that we, <laughs> we all know what Mr. Sony did, but we ain't gonna talk about that either. But seriously, this was a very interesting episode. I, I just want to know more about this new girl and, and she missed life. So hopefully we get that next week because um we need clarity and we need context. You know, hey, that's your girlfriend. You know, I'm thinking that's your friend. You know, I thought it was your sister. You know, it, it could be an older sister. Who knows? You could just, you just have different last names. But we need context. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 7 of Skip to Lover. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Tuesday or Wednesday for episode 8. Bye, guys.